Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can use a supercapacitor as a power source. For instance, if you wish to charge your cell phone, a tablet or flash lamp, you can use a charged supercapacitor along with a small circuit to charge these devices. As you can see on my table, I have several capacitors. These are called electrolytic capacitors. The values are in the range of thousands of microfarad or so. And there is a small capacitor called ceramic capacitor and one lithium ion rechargeable battery. And here the big ones, these are called super capacitors. And you can see the value written here, 2700 farad. It's a very high capacitance indeed. So before going into detail, how to utilize the power, I'll tell a little bit about the capacitance and the formation of capacitor. A capacitor is formed when two metal plates are placed close to each other. If this capacitor is connected to a power source, such as a battery, electrons start flowing from the negative side to the one of the plates. And as the electrons start accumulating this plate, as the other plate is closely located, the negatively charged electrons push the electrons out of the second plate and thus the second plate becomes positively charged. So now if the battery is removed, the charge is stored there and uh, this is how a capacitor is charged. So the capacitance, that is the how much charge a capacitor can hold can be expressed by equation C equals K epsilon naught A by D. Here D is the separation between these two plates and A is the area of the plates. So as you can see from the equation, as A is large and D is small, C becomes very, very large. So this is what is done inside a supercapacity. There is a big difference between a supercharged supercapacitor and a charged battery. For a charged battery, until its energy is drained until 50 to 80 percent, its terminal voltage remains almost the same or slightly down. However, in case of a supercapacitor, as the energy is being drained, its voltage goes down exponentially, much like any other capacitor. So we have to use as some kind of boost converter and regulator to maintain a constant voltage at the output as the energy is being drained. Now I am going to charge the supercapacitor. I am using a power supply and some connecting wire. The power supply voltage is adjusted at 2.5 volt exactly whatever written on the super cap body. We should not use more than 2.5 volt, otherwise the capacitor will be damaged. So it is not charging. Uh, the maximum current setting of the power supply is 5 amp. I am using that maximum current. So initial charging current is 5 amp. And you can see that terminal voltage is going up as the capacitor is being charged. As the capacity is pretty high, it takes time to charge the capacitor. I'm measuring the terminal voltage now. You can see it is 2.33 volt. A uh, little less than whatever is seen on the power supply because some voltages drop uh, at the across the wire connecting wire. So it is almost charged. Uh, charging current is going down. So it is fully charged now. First, I'll try test the charged capacitor with a coil. You can see that if if the coil is connected 
because of the magnetic field created by the coil the loop is contracted next test will be a short circuit test i am using a few centimeter long 22 gauge wire it is pretty dangerous test you have to test it carefully you can see the wire is charred i am now using a dc to dc converter circuit with the charged supercapacitor the capacitor is connected to the input of the converter circuit and the output is connected to a load initially i am using a cell phone to charge the cell phone battery so the regulator circuit should work from 2.5 volt to as low as 0.8 volt and output voltage should be 5 volt constant i am measuring the voltage initially it is 2.24 and the output is you can see 4.97 volt and the charging current is 255 milliampere so as time goes on the battery is being charged and charging current goes down to 200 milliamp and the uh, output voltage is around 4.97 So charging current is going down as the capacitor, uh, as the cell phone battery is being charged. So now the after the cell phone is totally charged, I am using a resistor, 20 ohm resistor as a load to get a constant current. So capacitor voltage is 2 volt and still 4.97 the output voltage. Voltage goes down to 1.8 and the output remains at 4.97. After some time, the voltage goes down to 1.7 and output voltage is Just below the video, you'll find all sorts of link uh, which describes the, uh, the data I'm getting and the analysis of data. Now voltage is gone down to 4.64. Capacitor voltage is 1.3 and the output voltage is 4.27 and the output current is also going down you can see it is 200 milliampere now. So it is now 4 volt at the output.
1.2 volt capacitor voltage and 3.8 at the regulator output.